What's going on guys, James Connects, and as promised, we are gonna be unboxing the PVE Digital Pocket Handheld System by Hot Games. This apparently has one game under one million games built into it. It's colorful display, it's got a big screen, and it's a cartridge game, 3D, AV out. Uh, what else do we have? It has Tank War PVE Digital Pocket System. Colors available are red, purple, sky blue, green, which is the one that we have, black, blue, pink, and orange. On the back, we do have a cartridge slot, AV out, uh, charge LED, uh, the button, start, select, power, volume, USB, reset, speaker, and a directions. Read through the manual uh, before using, and LCD notes, blah, 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 blah. But apparently we do have, uh, that's Fruit Ninja, we have some sort of racing game. Um, to be fair, the games on this do look quite good, but, we will soon find out. And, oh, there's a football game as well. Uh, play all the handheld games, Slim Station Colour and how the game Slim Station... What? Let's do that again. Play all the handheld game, Slim Station Colour and handheld game, Slim Station games you already own. That is a mouthful. It's got an enhanced backlit screen uh, to take anywhere on a game that you play. That's interesting. Uh, it would be good to know yeah what can be done with that screen use the av cable link up with other stations blah 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 blah, blah. Uh, and the battery will last apparently for six to seven hours uh, but the battery life will depend on the temperature and usage so without further ado let's get it open now i have charged it up um, and you'll see why this is a little bit of an issue because this is the cable that it comes with now obviously we don't have a two pin plug socket in this country. Thankfully, it's a fairly common uh, bit that it needs. So thankfully I had a cable lying around, which meant I could just pop it into a USB port and that was it, we were good to go. Here we have the AV cable, which I'm not even gonna attempt to try that and blow up my TV. Then we have the instruction manual. I say manual, it's a thin bit of paper. So, yeah, interesting. Right, here's the cart with uh, 999,991, even in one random special. It's got some really horrible, there we go, like pattern on in the front. It's on the whole of the box as well. I don't quite know why they've done that. And yes, we have it in the horrible green colour. So, I presume it's fully charged, simply because when I was charging it, there was a red LED in that corner, and then it just sort of stopped uh, the next time I checked up on it. So I presume it is fully charged. So, we have battery in the back, which is just, it looks to be like an old Nokia type battery. It's been a while since I've seen any phone batteries, to be fair. Uh, a couple of screws holding everything together. It's a really bright green and white colouring. It's like a Yoshi or a Luigi colour. Uh, speakers, the direction pads, and then your normal buttons. And then, yeah, that is it. So, let's put that into, into there. I must go that way around. Okay, right. So, power is, is this one here. So, let's turn it on. And we'll see what the sound is like. Okay, that is that is painful. It's nicer when it's quite quiet. But yeah, when you start... When you start turning it up, it's a bit horrible. Right, so games. Let's have a look, shall we? So we have Tiny Moon 2, New Man, Star Soldier, Flappy, Lot Lot, Ninja. Okay, that sounds got to go. Uh, Squoon. Star Luster, Thexter, Volgar 2, Xevious, Elevator Action, 1942, B-Wings, Mag Max, uh, Sonson, 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 that would make more sense, Pac-Man, uh, hey, Door Door, Defender, The Exter, Lot, Lot, we just had that, didn't we? We've had Star Soldier, and oh, these are the same games. There's another Pac-Man. Oh no, it's not gonna be like the same 15 games repeated over and over again. Oh, I think it is. 
Okay, this is... This is annoying. I mean, yes, we only paid £5, but... Oh, Ninja. Oh, no. Okay, let's try a bit of Pac-Man. No, all right, wrong button. Uh, Pac-Man, start button, maybe. There we go. Let's, oh, sound, 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 sound. Okay, trying to play it through the camera is um, admittedly a little bit difficult. I'm gonna die, gonna die, gonna die, gonna die. The buttons aren't quite as responsive as you would like them to be. Level one complete. I was quite impressed with that. That's not bad. Okay, um, let's reset that. Let's go on to another game. Okay, that sounds got to go again, sorry. That is just unbearably noisy for no bloody reason. So, uh, that's Pac-Man again, Ninja 2, should we try a bit of Ninja 2? I don't think there's... Nin there we go. To be fair, that load was really quick. Okay. Not a great deal is happening. I would have liked to have seen at least like one other. Okay. We didn't tell me you couldn't do that. Okay, enough of that. So that is the console. Let's just come back out. That is the console. It's not that bad. I mean, it is what you pay for essentially. It was only five pounds. Uh, to be fair, if it was anything more than that, I would be quite annoyed with the purchase. But you could probably get away with, I don't know, Giving it to the kids to play with when they're when you're on a long journey, I suppose. Anything other than that, it's not really worth a great deal. But it's it's built okay. Uh, the backlit screen is quite nice. Uh, in fact, let's just turn the lights off and see how well it fares with no light whatsoever. Now, admittedly, my phone is struggling ever so slightly because of the lack of colour all the way around. But that is a really decent screen. Wow. Okay, I am... I am wondering whether this screen can be used for something else. I would presume it must be a relatively universal type screen. But then again, taking things apart is really Elliot's cup of tea, so... um. Maybe he's done one of these before. I'll have to go through his older videos and have a quick check because I think this is at least two or three years old, this console. But yeah, that's actually not that bad. But there we go. It is the first unboxing of a console on this channel. Uh, thanks for everyone who upvoted the video which this was featured on. Uh, if this gets a half decent response, we may well do something like this in the future. But that is it from me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.